Yay, we're back now! Sorry about that, guys. My internet completely crashed on me. Blame Kojiko. Uh, it's probably partly because uh, there is a there's light rain outside. And honestly, with the track record I've had with Kojiko, that would explain it. Sorry about that, guys. So, no, Cory, you didn't miss the stream. Uh, everyone, uh, you might want to refresh your stream. If I end a stream like that, like a crash ends and then it comes back, you tend to be very far behind just because Twitch has a hard time with that. If you refresh your stream, it should fix it. I agree, gamer. Fuck you, Kojiko. We pay for the best service, and this is the shit we get constantly. Has it been like this all day? No, this is the first time it's crashed today. They've actually been pretty good about it lately. My internet used to crash multiple times a day for months. People who watched my streams back then probably remember that. It was frustrating. Brandon says, I thought it was a light breeze. It probably was a light breeze with a tiny bit of spitting rain. Madre, I re-challenge you to a Dragon Ball Z trivia challenge? You never asked me questions before. I was waiting for them. Hey, Raw is on? Oh, I forgot it was uh, Friday today. Guys, keep me up to date on Raw if anyone's watching it in the background. I know the feeling my router crashes once every 12 hours. You need a new router. Routers are so fucking finicky. Uh, God, I've had so many finic so many fucking routers that I bought that were dead on arrival. Like... Con consumer routers are so shit. Tuesday over here? Oh, you're expecting me to send them to him? Yeah, cause I, I never got any questions. Triple H is about to fight Curtis Axel, I think. Uh, hey, Brandon. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor in a moment. Uh, and just let me do something in the background real quick. Uh, let me... here's that. And that... I would like to copy link address. Okay. There we go. And what I asked him to do will forever be a mystery. And you will never know what it was. Because it was in Skype. And you're not in that Skype conversation. So you're gonna have to suffer. Sorry guys, I don't like you anymore. We're over. And you'll never know. I like when fruit instant grow on trees every once in a while. Doesn't happen often, but it's nice. Did you send him the naked pics? The good ones? No, I reserve the good ones for you. Ooh, I think we got another new viewer. This is like the third new one this stream. I've only been going for like less than an hour. Uh-oh. I think they're gonna unsubscibble. Oh, whatever the fuck he tried to spell. <laughs> uh, for the record, though, I know that he intentionally spelled that horribly. Okay, I'm gonna try it uh, another race or two. Triple H is coming out. Yeah, guys, keep me up to date on that. Uh oh, I think Chloe's gonna unsubscribe. Or unsubscript. I'm not entirely sure which. Madre, you're about to reach 2,500 subs. When was your 200 subspe uh, subscriber special two months ago? Or 2,000 subscribers special two months ago? No, it was more like one month ago. Uh, it was a month ago. I think it was like a month and a few days ago. I'm gaining, I'm gaining subscribers at an alarming rate all of a sudden. Not that I'm complaining. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do the first diamond race with What a Geek. Undertaker's face and can never be healed again. Pretty much. It's just like Triple H, where it doesn't matter how much of a bad guy they are anymore, they get cheered regardless. So you might as well have them be a face, so at least you can sell t-shirts more. Pika Force says, apparently my face is a foxy box, according to my sister. I don't know why, but that sounds sexual to me. I'm gonna sprint as little as possible, because this looks like a really long track. Wow, don't even need to sprint to land that one anymore. Don't blame me, she is like eight. I don't know if she should know what these words mean. Madrai, your YouTube inbox should have the same quiz uh, with different senders now. I don't know how... Uh, I, I don't know how updated Helios's is, but the one I sent you is the one he sent me. So which one am I supposed to be answering? Are they the same? What was he when he- oh god, his American badass gimmick sucked. He was kind of a tweener, I guess, at the time. Wow, what he's really dominating the competition. He was kind of a tweener back then. Because he did a lot of asshole things, but people cheered him regardless. But I think that was more so just because it was a failed heel push. Fucking hated the American badass gimmick. It sucked. I have no idea if he changed it up, but I think it's safe to read the one I sent you. Okay. Okay, it hasn't been touched. Okay. Yeah, what a geek is dominating the race. They're all just starting to reach that. <laughs> And I can already see one of them going for the, uh, round fruit. Idiot. I forget who is Curtis Axel related to. He's the son of Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect, by the way, awesome wrestler. I miss him. He was one of my favorites in the 90s. Yeah, and, uh, Curtis Axel's really good. I've really liked him for a long time. It's just he's never really been that... He's never been that charismatic, I think, as being his big problem. And they've had a lot of failed pushes with them. He used to actually tag team with uh, Husky Harris, who is now Bray Wyatt. WWE clearly knew that both of those guys were really talented. It's just they could not get over in those gimmicks for some reason. I can see why Husky Harris didn't go get over. This new Bray Wyatt thing is amazing. It's exactly what he needed. And he makes the gimmick work. It's one of those gimmicks where not everyone can do. You really have to find the right guy for it. Only 56 minutes until Sony's conference. He's having an awesome match with Triple H. I want a pedigree. The fuck are you doing, what a geek? <laughs> I can... Vince ruined it? I don't give a shit about Triple H anymore. I haven't given a shit about Triple H for a long time. Ever since he was in DX is pretty much when I started giving less of a shit about Triple H. And then he just declined and declined and declined. It has never gone back up. He had great matches with Brock Lesnar. That's all I care about. It's more so because Brock Lesnar is amazing. Apparently Chloe hasn't given a shit about WWE in a long time. I kind of give a shit. I keep up where I can, and I have opinions on it, of course. But I don't let it piss me off too much, because they do a lot more stupid than good, if you ask me. You love Brock's belly-to-belly -belly suplexes? I love Brock's everything. I think that for a monster heel, he sells so well. If you saw Extreme Rules and you saw the selling of his, uh, his leg when Triple H was working over his leg, I thought it was great. Uh, 
Sony's gonna blow Microsoft out of the water? Yeah, but that's not really because Sony's is so amazing, it's because Microsoft's is so horrible. Vince just DQ'd Triple H. They're building up the match pretty well, where, like, they're really trying to get the crowd to really care and want to see Triple H wrestle, and the, the crowd clearly wants to see Triple H wrestle. And they're doing a good job of building it up, where they, like, they tease it happening and then it doesn't happen, and it starts to happen and they pull it away. They keep pulling it away, pulling it away, and then at the pay-per-view they're probably gonna have the match. That's kind of what you're supposed to do. So they're doing a good job. You like Booker T is the hilarious name of the finisher? What, the, uh, the scissor kick or the book end? I guess the book end. Booker T was awesome, though. Fuck, I miss Booker T. Booker T's on commentary now. He's not that good on commentary. I don't understand what the Xbox One did. Oh, God. Um, Brandon, you're still in the chat, right? Do me a favor. Go to VGA, uh, go to the YouTube, get the playlist of them riffing on their fucking Microsoft um, thing, their press conference, and link that in the chat. And any of you who haven't seen it, I want you to watch it sometime after the stream. It's like three hours, but just watch it in parts. It's already broken up into parts, and you will enjoy the shit out of it. It's amazing. They pretty much sum up what's horrible about it in the first two minutes, but the rest of it is just hilarious. Uh... Why was there a DQ to Triple H use his mind to throw a sledgehammer? <laughs> Triple H forfeited? My head hurts? Uh, yeah, that's confusing. Ah, uh, Triple H. Er, Triple H. I just called What a Geek Triple H. What a Geek tripped. He's still dominating the race, though. Brandon, hurry up on that link! Is it just me or all the Chow's eyes the same except for Wada Geek's and number 8? Um, Wada Geek's eyes are different because he's a different alignment of Chow. By default, all Chow you race are neutral, whereas Wada Geek is dark aligned, so different eyes. And different all around color schemes. Now it's a 60 man Iron Man match. Or 60 minute Iron Man match? 60 man. And who is it between exactly? It's between uh, Curtis Axel and Triple H? Yeah, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like to see a 60 man Iron Man match even though I have no clue what the fuck that would what would be happening I have a feeling Brandon is tuned out of the stream Doug can you do it for me go on video games awesome's YouTube channel go to their playlists and one of the newest things you'll see is them live riffing on uh well not live but them riffing on um the Xbox 360 press conference like the the reveal of the Xbox one and just click on that playlist and link that in the chat. Hexel won three matches in one night? Awesome. Let's try another diamond one. I don't think he'll be able to beat the fourth one, because these diamond ones are real Iron Man one and his stamina isn't great. And I think he'll start to need to be able to sprint to make up for trips and stuff later. That was a new record? I wasn't paying attention. If you're talking about winning three matches in one night, no, that's not a new record. In WCW, uh, not only did Lance Storm win three matches in one night, he won three titles in one night. I gotta restart the, the race. If you fuck up that beginning thing, you can't win. Well, let me check that link real quick to make sure that's the one. Uh, yes, that's the correct one. Thanks, Doug. 
Wait, wait, wait. Is, let me double check. Is that the live one or is that... Fucking... Excuse the ad. Hey, buddy. That's the correct one, yes. Uh, I highly, 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 highly recommend everyone watch that after the stream. I have watched it three times. I find it so funny. I want RVD to come out and uh, out of nowhere and hit someone with a chair, then five-star frog splash. Then, uh, because that would be random. No, that wouldn't be random. That would be unexpected. There's a difference. I miss RVD too. He's slumming it in TNA. Are you fucking kidding me? I have as high of intelligence as you can have at this point. I'll give it one more shot. You have a friend who's defending Microsoft with a passion, saying they lost money with the 360? Is your friend aware that Microsoft, in the entire company's history, has never had a financial negative year? They have never had a net loss of money in their entire company. Also, no, they did not lose money with the 360. And even if they did, that is not an excuse for what they've done. Okay, finally he didn't get knocked down by that. In fact, almost everyone else did. Pika Forest, don't make fun of the mentally challenged. I'm mentally challenged. It's like I said in the it's like I said in the rules section. Be careful about ableist comments. Microsoft's stock went down. Everything else went up. Yeah, Sony's stock went up almost 10% the day after the Microsoft press conference. And Amazon sales of the Wii U went up about 650%. It's a DVR. Looks like a VCR to me. You give it too much credit. Wow, we're already at 25 viewers. Again, I didn't think I'd be getting more than 8. It's E3 time right now. I thought people would be watching that. Oh my god. Fanboys claim the stock drop was due to Blu-ray installation? That doesn't even make sense. Show my friend the power of the punch since he thinks wrestling is 100% fake and how he thinks Regal is the biggest faker. I don't like when people say wrestling is air quote fake. Because it gives people the wrong impression about it. It's not that it's fake. It, it's not even that it's scripted. A lot of it is scripted except for the matches. Like, certain spots in it, they work out before the match. And a lot of it's improv. I would say it's the same as theater. It's, a, it's sports theater. But improv. It's improv theater. There you go. That's what wrestling is. Also, uh, what was I gonna say? Also, um, William Regal. He's one of the legitimate tough guys of wrestling. He's considered that. Which is to say that he's one of the guys you can work really stiff with and he never complains. He's a legitimate tough guy. Bob Hawley is another one of those. Jesus, he was a stiff worker. And, uh, Bad News Brown. He was another one that no one fucked with backstage. E.T. for the Xbox One. Yeah, Xbox is basically boosting Nintendo and Sony sales. Wow, what are you really dominating this race? My friend can finally see, uh, can see Finley and Seamus being a tag team and I love the idea. I don't like the idea of Finley and Seamus as a tag team because that's putting over Finley, who doesn't need to be put over anymore. 
The whole point of Finley nowadays, if you still have him wrestle, and they still have him in occasional feuds. Are you fucking kidding me? Get up! <laughs> the whole point of him is to feud with new guys and lose the feud so that he can train them. That's the point of Finley nowadays. The same with William Regal, that's pretty much what they do with him in NXT. Either than having him do amazing commentary, they have him do feuds that he inevitably loses to other wrestlers to help show them the ropes. Oh, by the way, you know at the press conference they kept breaking about all their TV shit they can do that seems pointless considering you're watching it on a TV? You know what they didn't say until after when questioned? They didn't put it part as part of the conference? You need to buy an extra add-on for those TV features. So, I already wasn't interested in them at all, but you actually have to buy another add-on for that. Have fucking fun, guys! <laughs> Uh, it looks like some of these guys are faster runners. I don't know if Water Geek can do this one. I tripped two of them. If Water Geek's smart with the turns and everything, he might have this. And if he's better at flying and climbing and stuff. Uh, no, I think that one guy's way better than him. Yeah, he's better than him at everything. He's not gonna win this race. Yep, pointless add-ons! Pointless add-ons that they don't even inform you, you have to pay for. They make it look like it's just a part of the system. Alright, let's do a few more races. And then it's back to the leveling. Microsoft, you just lost my money? Uh, they should have lost your money a long time ago. And that is to say, lose your money on the Xbox One. There are plenty of reasons to buy Microsoft things. There are no reasons to buy the Xbox One. Microsoft equals dead company? Not even fucking close. <laughs> That's hilariously dumb. Microsoft is not even remotely close to a dead company. They just suck at the system market. That's the only thing they've ever sucked at. Either than that, they dominate the world in basically everything they do. Again, like I said before, they've never lost... They've never had a net loss of money in their entire company's history. No, they're not a dead company. I know it was a joke. Good. You have a 360, you'll keep it. I'm not interested in ever getting a 360. I'm gonna get a PS3 at some point just for wrestling games and Red Dead Redemption. Get up! Up for a Skype call? I'm not really in a Skype call mood right now. I think I just want to do this, uh... I want to do this one solo. Considering they'll give you one in a VCR case. Um, also pick up Deadly Premonition Director's Cut once you get a PS3? Yeah, I will, definitely. Especially since I heard that they fixed up the map a bit. I think he told me about that. And the map was pretty much my biggest problem with that game. I love Deadly Premonition. I can see the PS4 going for at least 350. Does anyone know if PS4 is backwards compatible? I believe it is, right? Ugh, Kingdom Hearts. Back like over a year ago when my computer was busted for like three full months, I tried to suffer my way through Kingdom Hearts because everyone kept telling me, No, it gets better! No, it gets better! Never got fucking better. It was never good. <laughs> it was always, eh. I was in a call with Snappish Hippo. Not Snappish Hippo. I was in a call with Super Effector when I first started playing that game, and it was so goddamn predictable. I called out every plot point as it happened. I was playing the game my very first time ever playing it. I was playing the game on hard, and I didn't find it hard. People kept telling me I was going to get killed for doing that, and no, it was not hard. Feel the same way, Frozen Water? Good. I only ever played the first one. Uh, 
It wasn't hard, it was barely fun, it was clunky as hell, it was predictable as hell, it was not engaging from gameplay or story standpoint, there was nothing about it that I liked. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was an okay concept. Execution was poor. I like the soundtracks as Chibifo. I don't remember the music is the thing. So I don't remember it being particularly good, but I don't remember it being bad. It was just okay. I don't remember any of the tracks. Oh, no, no, I remember Traveler's Town, kinda. But I don't remember it as like, oh man, I love that song. It's just kind of, I kind of remember the tune. I'm happy so many people in the chat agree with me on this. That Kingdom Hearts is not amazing. It just was not a solid game. I think it's the problem is the same people who loved that game probably also loved, like, Final Fantasy VII. And I always get way more flack for that one. I hate Final Fantasy VII. And people always say, like, oh, you didn't give it a chance. I beat that game on PC. Like, what, in, like, 2002, I beat it on PC. And I just kind of kept suffering through it because people kept telling me it's the best game ever. I'm like, okay, well, it'll get better. It never got better! It was so sh sh shitty and underwhelming. And I think it's because I played Final Fantasy VI before it. And Final Fantasy VI was better in every way. And I found it funny because so many people would tell me, like, oh, we did all these revolutionary things. No, it didn't, because every revolutionary thing they told me it did, a previous game in that series had done first and better. Like, people are like, it was so tragic when, spoiler alert, when Eris died. And I'm just like, eh, I didn't really care. And they're like, it's like the first time ever in an RPG, death has been final. I'm like, uh, no, halt. Final Fantasy IV? There were very tragic deaths, including one where two children who were talented mages turned themselves to stone to keep the walls of an enclosing trap room from crushing your hero. In Final Fantasy VI, there was Shadow, the, the ninja with the past that you never really got to know unless you managed to do a, seek, a very hard secret to keep him alive. And he, although being very selfish the entire game, sacrifices his own life to try and save the entire planet at about the halfway point of the game. And it's almost impossible to save him. There's so much shit. So much shit that the other games did way better first. God. No spoilers for Final Fantasy IV, please? Okay, well, the one I said is not very far into the game, so... Sorry about that, I didn't see you say it first. Yeah, pretty much the reason people love Final Fantasy VII... Um... What about Chrono Trigger? Yeah, you probably shouldn't spoil that, but yeah, I love Chrono Trigger. Um, Chrono Trigger is fucking awesome. Um, Final Fantasy VII is incredibly overrated. And it's, uh, whoa, 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 hold on. Guitar Hero Jones just started by saying Final Fantasy VII is overrated because it's overrated. And I think he might be going on the same tangent as I am. I'm going to read it. Uh, looking aside, a pretty freaking good game. Mm, story's amazing. No. Okay, no, he's not, he's not at all saying what I'm saying. I think the story was mediocre at best, especially compared to the previous games. The gameplay was incredibly underwhelming compared to the previous games. And the story was, there was nothing good. Pretty much, this is why it's so popular, if you ask me. If you ask me, the reason it's so po so fucking popular is because it, uh, when it first came out, it's like, Oh, 3D, PS, PlayStation, blowing my mind! So everyone's like, so fucking awesome, best game ever. And people were saying best game ever back then. And then, the only reason it lived on having that fucking over- that fucking reputation as being best game ever is because people keep saying it's the best game ever so everyone else falls into the fucking peer pressure of it. It's not that good! It's not even the best Final Fantasy game to that date! It's the... It's the fourth best 
in the first seven games. Final Fantasy 1, 3, no, 1, 3, 4, no, not really 3. 1, 4, 5, and 6 were all better. 2 and 3 were not that good. 1, 4, 5, and 6 were all better than Final Fantasy 7. Oh, fuck, you tripped. There's worse than Final Fantasy 7? I agree there's worse than... Gotta restart the fucking race. I agree there's worse than Final Fantasy 7, but the fact that there's worse than it doesn't make it a better game. It just means that they're worse than it. If two movies were made... No, let's say three movies were made. One movie... The first movie is amazing. The second movie is okay. The third movie is made and it's shit. It doesn't make that middle movie better than it was before because a worse one was made after. And thus, that's why when people always tell me, like, well, there's worse, that doesn't elevate that one at all. Final Fantasy 13. Fuck me, did you hear they're making another Final Fantasy 13? I guess when you fuck up the first two times, you might as well try, like, third time's the charm? Jesus. Hey, Leech Girl, I think you're a new one, too. So have you seen any of E3? No, but they've been keeping me updated. Uh, I never said it was the best, I just said I enjoyed it. I, I never said you said it was the best. I'm saying it's shit. <laughs> I'm saying that they are so many better than it. It is... Okay, it's not shit, it's very mediocre. Very mediocre. And there are so many other titles in the series that are far better. This is basically the way I look at it, at the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy series... Pull ahead of him. There. Uh, every numbered game after six has not been good enough to keep my interest. Every non-numbered game, or almost every non-numbered game, has been very, very solid. For instance, Final Fantasy seven VII and eight, I think suck. Final Fantasy X, I think sucks. Final Fantasy IX is... Mm, it's okay. Whereas Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Advanced, Tactics Advanced 2, all of those were awesome! I think the only reason we won that race is because the guy in front of us tripped. <laughs> Final Fantasy 6 is best, I agree. Final Fantasy 6 has the best plot. I think the most in-depth gameplay is probably Final Fantasy V, but VI's gameplay was also very good. So those two are kind of my tied contenders for best in the numbered series. I consider a lot of the non-numbered series to be kind of, um, I consider it to be very different because it's such such different games. Like, um, I've been recording a lot of Final Fantasy uh, Advanced recently, actually, and like re-familiarizing myself with the game. Because I think that, I, I want that to be on the, the voting list for the next Let's Play, and I think that one will get voted in. So I've been recording a lot of that one, having a ton of fun with it, and just remembering why I loved it so much. And it's completely different from the rest of Final Fantasy, so I like to, I like to consider that separate. You never played the first two? Final Fantasy 1 was good. It's the worst of the Final Fantasy games that I consider to be good, though, probably. Um, it, it was a solid game, but other ones in the series were far more than just solid. <laughs> oh, oh no, can't accept Wojtek. He wants disciples, too! Oh no! Gilgamesh. Can anyone remember the hilariousness of Gilgamesh in Final Fantasy V? Yes, when he used Excalibur on you. Also, Gogo the Mime is pretty amazing. Gogo the Mime's been in a, in a few games now. I know he was in both five and six. Five, he was a secret boss who gave you a secret class of the Mime class, and in six, he was a secret playable character. I loved him. He was great. Oh my god, if Wojtek showed up here, it'd be great. It wouldn't surprise me if he showed up but didn't talk in the chat, because he just wanted to see if I'm bad-mouthing him. <laughs> Majori, which Final Fantasy games would you recommend personally? 
Um, in the numbered series, in the non-numbered series, or both? Midnight. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking to the chat now. <laughs> <clears throat> Four, five, six, and tactics says Red Dragon. Yeah, I pretty much agree with that. Uh, both, yeah. Then um, Final Fantasy four, five, six, and any of the Final Fantasy Tactics games. Those are the ones I really recommend above all else, as far as the Final Fantasy series goes. Raw is a blank episode, Madrai. I'm not sure what you said that was censored. Am I weird for enjoying Final Fantasy 2 back in the day? No, because Final Fantasy 2, the one you're talking about, is probably Final Fantasy 4. You're talking about the one with the with the Dark Knight turned Paladin Cecil, right? Because that's Final Fantasy 4. It was just named incorrectly on the SNES. If you're talking about the... You mean the Japanese one? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I didn't find that one very good. I... Hmm. Yeah, it was probably the worst one as far as leveling systems went. It was a really broken leveling system. Final Fantasy VIII is shit, says Brandon. I completely agree. That one was so... <laughs> uh, you know, I... I think there, he might be able to do another one of those, uh, the dark races or the hero races or whatever. Let's try that. I think he did the first one. I remember these ones being pretty difficult. There are only four of them for each, so huge jumps in uh, difficulty on each. Yeah, he can beat these guys, as long as he doesn't fail the intelligence tests really bad. Oh no, he can outpace them really fast. Okay, he'll be fine. You should do more Chow Karate. I don't think I can win the last Chow Karate. God, I'll still win this. I don't know if he's good enough to win the last one yet, but I'll give it a try. I just thought of something. What do you think of? I just can't stand, uh, ten is, uh, can't stand ten. Yeah, ten sucked. Cobra is just an otter version of Mankind Sako. Not really. It's, it's a throat thrust. Whereas, uh, whereas, um, the Mandible Claw, you are putting your ring and, uh, you're putting your ring and, uh, middle finger in their mouth under their tongue and pressing down. Will you have your thumb pincer up at the bottom of the, of the, uh, jaw? It's a pretty different move. Nothing's worse than 13? Um... Yeah, 13 was probably worse than 10. I never played 12, actually. Oh, no, 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 I did play 12. I played 12 for like 10 minutes and it did not get my interest at all. Yeah, 13 was probably the worst. Actually, hmm... 13-2 was also really bad, but I'd say they're kind of on par. Because 13-2, they way overcorrected the problems. Where it's like, oh, you're stuck in the hallway, you don't like the hallway, you don't like that the entire game is fucking, like, completely linear? Okay, well, let's overcorrect it to the point that you're fucking lost. That's not any better. <laughs> uh, have you tried 13 and 13-2? Yes. Fourteen doesn't even anything. <laughs> yeah, fourteen is garbage. You have how? What do you mean how? Friend's house. I don't have a PS3. You know what? I, I can honestly say 
I had more fun playing Enchanted Arms on the PS3 over at my friend Justin's house, uh, Kempodactyl on YouTube. He does he does stand-up comedy and stuff. He's pretty good. Uh, and skits. Anyway, uh, I had more fun over at his place playing uh, Enchanted Arms than I did Final Fantasy XIII. En Enchanted Arms is undeniably a worse game. <laughs> it's even worse. It is horrible. It's such a good idea executed so power poorly, but we had so much fun making fun of it. And it, was, it had so much to make fun of, whereas Final Fantasy XIII? No. It's not funny bad, it's just atrociously bad. Have you ever played Rogue Galaxy? Uh, I don't think so. Fucking what a geek! <laughs> Here we go. Ooh! Hey, you earned something! You earned a bowl to play with. Sweet. Wonder if he can beat the third one. I don't think he can beat the fourth because the skill level jumps are so high. GameStop just announced that the Xbox One will be 500? And a new 4 gigabyte small one is 200. Okay, I already had no intention whatsoever of buying it. Shoo! Yeah, I already had no intention whatsoever of buying it. That's too much. If you're gonna have the system be as shit as it is, that's too much. Thank you, frozen water. That was Satan coming out of my nose. I'm happy that you blessed me. I think I can still outrace these guys, unless they're like really good flyers. Then it might be in the air. Well, this is a smaller track. I can afford to do a sprint or two on this one. And I can still way outfly them. Okay, what do you got this one? <sighs> Randy Orton and Dee Briar getting a title match? Fuck! I love Daniel Bryan, but I don't want him to be a tag team with fucking Randy Orton. They're not gonna win. If they're getting a title match, I don't think they're going to win because they still want S.H.I.E.L.D. to be a big thing. And I'm happy. Your browser locked up? Sorry to hear about that. Wow, oh, uh, what are you really kicking ass at this one? Shield are your favorites? I don't know if they're my favorites in the company right now. I think uh, Antonio Cesaro is still my favorite in the company right now. But uh, I do very much enjoy the shield. I'm surprised that, um... Fucking get up! I'm surprised that um, Seth Rollins had such an easy time adapting to the WWE wrestling style because I was watching him back when he was Tyler Black, which, by the way, that ring name sucked. I remember watching him a lot back in Ring of Honor when he was Tyler Black, he was the champion there. And he had a very different style back then. I kind of like his new style more. New Battle Angel versus Devil. Uh, mm, this one's up in the air. Favorite me member is Seth or Roman? Roman's my least favorite, definitely. It's not that he's bad at all. I don't think he's bad. Um, it, it's not that he's bad at all or anything. It's that he's not as good as the other two. My favorite is Dean Ambrose, by far. Uh, I've been watching him since the indie circuit. He's just been amazing. Uh, you know, I might be able to win this one if, if, if What a Geek wins the... that thing. You spelt mustache wrong.
Thank you, Brandon. This mustache. There's a chaos uh, chow you're racing, right? Uh, yeah, I believe that's a chaos chow because of the eyes and everything. Which means he is a supreme badass. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, he's- you're not gonna win this one. Let's do the chow karate and then switch game. And I already have a game in mind before you start recommending games. You say that because people are really quick to jump down my throat nowadays about recommending a new game before I even ask if I'm going- I don't even say yet if I'm going to be taking a suggestion people start naming games. Yes, sir, I already yelled at Warhammer. Fuck. I'm not telling you guys what game yet. It's a triple threat with uh, Wade, The Miz, and Fandango for the title. You should play Dawn of War 2. I don't even know if I have it installed right now. Hey, Jensai. Okay, we'll try the hardest rank of the tournament, but I don't think I'm going to win. I guess his stats are really high now, and he did really dominate the first two tournaments. But I remember the last one being really hard. Dawn of War 3? Oh yeah, let's play that. He's kicking the ass of the first guy. I don't know, maybe I just underestimate the Chow a lot. I do power level him a lot. Final Fantasy 4 for the next stream? No, I'm probably not going to stream a Final Fantasy game. Chat still says that I need to name a, uh, that I need to name a Chow Goku so they can share You Can Do It Goku. No, but I need to name him Piccolo, then you can share You Can Do It Goku. How many of you were there for that? Yeah, Jens, I had that idea. What game are we playing? <laughs> like I already said, I'm not telling until I do it. Yeah, I have to name Piccolo if you're gonna be cheering. You can do it, Goku. What do you miss? We're doing the last round of, uh... We're gonna see if we can beat the last karate tournament. It's the only stream you've seen of the Chow? It's because I'm probably the only one who still plays the Chow Garden. It's like me and what a geek. Chow Garden's the reason you buy this game. Wow, he's really dominating this. I honestly thought it was going to be way harder than this. Semi-final. He is a huge fan, fan of that roundhouse. Is great. My zeal is so much better than the other guys. I can take so many hits, too. Come on, bump him in the nose! Fuck. Wow, that hurt my zeal. I'm getting ready. Gotta be ready to cheer him on, yep. I got this. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Fandango is a concussion. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, it's time for the finals. I don't do much damage to him. Uh, he does less to me, though. And I'm slightly faster, although I don't know how often he dodges. Ooh, 
wacky actually looks kind of serious? It kind of does. Uh, I, I'm kicking his ass. Look at his zeal. He gets gassed fast. Wow, he gets his zeal back fast, though, when he's resting. Yeah, we're kicking his ass. Wow, we are killing this guy! Yes! Yes! Ring out! Wow. That was solid. <laughs> Cody tapped the Miz. Aww. Oh, we got all the uh, emblems for karate. I think we're done with this game for today. Been playing a lot of it. And I'll do some more leveling off screen, of course, so that he's ready to complete more races when we get back to it. I'll get him to like uh, level 15 ish on everything. Like I said before, I've got a game planned for next. Let me put on the five minute break screen. And I am going to be. Draw it, bug bug. Oh, sorry, I already planned a game to do next that I think I'm gonna do for the rest of the stream. I'm not entirely sure how long it's gonna go, though. I don't... Eh, God, it's nine. Do I really want to do this? I was thinking of doing, like, a full match of Civilization. But that could take hours. God, that could go for, like, six hours. You know what? I probably shouldn't do that. It's too late for me to do that anyway, because I'm just gonna get hungry. Um, yes, I have Civ for colonization, but again, that would take forever. Colonization cannot be short, no. It takes a minimum of like an hour and a half, and that's dead minimum. Uh, hold on, let me turn on some... There. Like I said before, I'm not streaming Final Fantasy. Uh, WWE 2008, please? No. Not in the mood for that. Play Battlefront 2 because of the news? I'm not in a Battlefront mood. I'm looking through my list right now to see what I want to play. Chloe, you got a billion people to play one of your games. Don't you remember? Uh, fucking PewDiePie played one of your games, and then like a billion people probably saw it. How many subscribers does he have? Three million? That game didn't suck. Dwarf Fortress? Dwarf Fortress isn't on the list, remember guys? Well, one person said he has 8.5 million, another person says he has 4 million. Someone's gonna have to confirm how many subscribers he has. It's not that it wasn't good enough for people to donate, it's, that, it's just that uh, the vast majority of people who watch PewDiePie are 12 years old and don't have a credit card. He's at 8 million? Jesus. Yeah, see, that's how we generate so much money for charities. The majority of my fan base is old enough to have a credit card. Well, not the majority anymore because the Pokemon Creep Passage did lower my average age of subscribers. However, the majority of them are at least intelligent enough to care about charity. People are dumb. Play some Hotline Miami. I've been having fun with that. Eh, maybe another stream will do that. I 
Yeah, he got 2,000 more subscribers in a few seconds. That's PewDiePie. Yeah, that's that's PewDiePie for ya. I'm not in a Guild 2 mood, guys. Yeah, uh, Fraser's lonesoming the E3 right now. I'm waiting for him to do his uh, edited version of it. I always love those. Mmm, what the hell do I want to play? Madrai, we love you. I love you too. I'm not doing GTA San Andreas. The last two times I streamed that, it was boring as shit. Um, fine. I guess I'll do, uh... Why am I blanking on the name? Why am I blanking on the name? Santa doesn't love you. However, that will mean I have to set it to not playing and update my stream. Because it's not a game on the stream list. Which means we're gonna get no new viewers unless they're in from like, we're gonna get no new viewers from Twitch, at least, in on this. Let me get this thing set up. It's a game called Santa Doesn't Love You. Uh, Chloe in the chat made it. Where did I put it? There it is. Bring down that music. And let me get this thing set up real quick. Whoa. Oh yeah, I remember the volume being kind of loud. Is there an in-game volume control? No. That'll do. And can I stream it directly? No, I can screen region it. There we go. Okay. Uh, just for the sake that I don't need to hunt through this in post, I'm going to very quickly end the broadcast and restart it. Alright, guys? Alright, guys.